G'day, Wombat here, and in today's budget gear, we're going to take a look at the Affinity Telecaster by Squire. A little while ago, I did the Affinity Stratocaster by Squire. So today we're gonna to look at the brother of that particular guitar, the Affinity Telecaster, also by Squire. So this is it, and it's in this lovely butterscotch blonde, um, which is kind of an unusual color for a Telecaster. I haven't really seen one like this before. Normally they do them in that, um, that traditional kind of uh, yellowy sort of, I don't know, they can call it a TV yellow color. Um, but this one is a little bit different, but it is quite nice. The more I've looked at it, the more I've actually come to really enjoy the color. So let's have a look at it. It is an older body, and as you can see there, it is a, a bit of a transparent paint job. So the, the color actually comes through, or the grain, I should say, comes through the color a little bit, which I quite like. Um, it really shows up the, the darker um, sections of the grain quite dramatically through the paint job. Um, the neck itself is a maple neck with a maple fingerboard, as you can see, synthetic bone nut, 21 medium jumbo frets, and some generic tuners on the back there, which um, are unbranded. But seeing that this is made in Indonesia, I'm assuming they're, uh, they're a fairly generic brand of tuner. Um, two single coils uh, that are yeah, very traditional Telecaster style of single coils. Three-way selector, tone and volume, and um, six saddle bridge. So not the vintage style bridge that we uh, a lot of people seem to love, but the, um, the, the bridge that is probably a little easier to work with and intonate, um, the six saddle, more modern style. So let's talk about how it played, shall we? Um, it played great. It felt great. It is well built. Quality um, is, is really good in the build quality. The neck pocket is good. The neck itself is a satin finish. So a satin finish neck always feels really, really good in the hand. Uh, much better than a gloss neck, although some gloss necks feel pretty good too, but the satin always just feels really, really nice in the hand. Um, the neck itself is not real chunky, but it's not real slim. It's not kind of where I like a neck to be quite so much, but um, there were no issues as far as the neck in the hand. It wasn't too, too thick at all. Um, it's, it's got a, a, a reasonable amount of girth, but it's not, it's not super thick at all. Um, the neck, however, seems to be a little wider than I'm used to. Not by a lot, just a fraction, but it does make the neck feel perhaps a little bit bigger than it actually is. Um, you know, it's a perception thing, not a, not a reality kind of thing. Um, the tuners were adequate. Um, not the best tuners in this segment that I've ever felt. I felt they were a bit stiff, but they held tune. They didn't let me down, so the tuning stability was fine. Um, so, uh, pickups. So now this is where things get a little bit interesting. Um, Clean-wise, the pickups were... I'm really not sure what, how to put it. Let me, let me do it individually. The bridge pickup was uninspiring. It was adequate, it sounded okay, but it didn't inspire me to play clean. Um, the middle position, which I usually quite like, particularly for clean sort of stuff, um, was really boomy and really bassy. It lost some of that definition and it really boomed. Um, so that wasn't particularly inspiring as well. The neck pickup, however, was great, it sounded fantastic on its own, sounded really good, was very musical, um, and I really enjoyed that. When we switched to like a blues style of a tone, um, the neck pickup was okay. 
it sort of lost a little bit of what it had in the clean. The middle setting was, was once again a bit on the muddy side and the um, bridge pickup seemed to improve slightly. It wasn't quite as bad, although you do get a lot of the telly quack as it's often referred to. Um, so the tone control, particularly in the upper register of the fretboard, really did need to be used a bit. It was a bit ear piercing, which you kind of expect from a Telecaster. Um, in all honesty, most of them do it that way. So I guess it's, it's right on point. When we got into the rock territory, I thought the neck pickup kind of lost it. Wasn't, wasn't great, didn't, didn't inspire me. Um, you could live with it, but certainly not the best in a rock tone um, that I've experienced on a Telecaster in this price segment. The bridge, however, really started to come alive. So that was, that was interesting. It really started to pick up. In fact, the more gain I fed the bridge pickup, the better it got. So I had high hopes when we went to metal that it might sound all right, and um, it did. It handled the metal distortion levels really, really nicely. You'd never want to use one on stage playing metal because single coils and all that kind of volume and distortion are really loud. Um, it really gets, the, the hum just gets unbearable. But it handled the distortion. So the bridge pickup was great when you're feeding it distortion, but wasn't great clean. And the neck pickup was great clean and a bit bluesy, but nothing more past that. So it's a bit of a mixed bag with the pickups there. Um, I know some of you will probably disagree with that. Um, it's just a personal preference. If this was your first guitar or you just wanted to pick up a telly to beat up a bit and play and not really worry too much about, um, you could live with them. They were, they were adequate. They were fine, but not the best pickups I've heard on a Telecaster in this kind of price range. I think there is better out there. Um, so yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much it. It is well built. It does play nicely. Um, and if you don't mind the pickups so much, or you can live with them, um, it's not a bad guitar to pick up. The quality is there, that's for sure. Um, the quality has certainly improved over the last, um, let's say, 10 years of the Squire stuff, because the Affinity stuff used to be, well, <laughs> rubbish. And now it's actually certainly picked up and is not too bad. So that is the Affinity Telecaster by Squire. So there you go. Not a bad looking guitar and certainly well made, worth consideration. Price range for this is uh, recommended retail in Australia here is about the $460 mark. Now, you'll pick them up cheaper than that. Most places are not doing them for $460. Most of them will be doing them cheaper. Um, some of them even as low as in the high 300s. So that's what makes it a, a guitar worth looking at is the price because the build quality is good. All right, so there you are. The Affinity Telly by Squire. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, rock on guys.